Led by solar energy, renewable power growth is surging, driven by the global energy crisis, policy momentum around the world, and innovation. UNSW Sydney's researchers have made a technology breakthrough in the field of solar, developing so-called nighttime solar power. They've generated electricity from heat radiated as infrared light, in a similar way to the Earth cooling. To explain more, I'm joined by Ned Eakins Dorks, professor at UNSW Sydney. Professor, welcome. Can you take us through your findings? Well, thank you. Uh, it's a, a pleasure. So, the opportunity we have to generate solar power at night sounds a bit strange because, of course, the sun doesn't shine at night. But what we forget is that uh, the surface of the Earth is actually radiating the same amount of energy out into space in the infrared, which we can't see, as it receives from the sun. So what we did was we just realized that uh, we could harness that because whenever you have a temperature difference, you can always generate some electricity. So during the day, what we have is this really hot sun, you know, it's about 6,000 degrees uh, is the temperature of sunlight, and your solar panel might be sort of 50 degrees sitting on your roof. And so it's that temperature difference that uh, allows us to generate electricity. We can do the same at night because we have maybe your roof is cooling down, radiating out into the cold night sky. So cold night sky might be maybe minus 50, for example, uh, but your roof isn't at minus 50, your roof might be 10 degrees. So it's that temperature difference that allows us to generate some electricity. What we did was we showed a semiconductor device, just like a solar cell, made out of different material that allows us to generate electricity from this radiative cooling. Materials found in night vision goggles, I understand, were used to generate power from the emission of infrared light. Sounds intriguing. Could you explain how this process works? Yeah, that's right. So. Uh, whenever you look at a thermal image, you might be familiar with these thermal imaging cameras that can show you things that are warm, uh, which is you know, what we use for night vision as well. Uh, then anything that's radiating heat, as in, in other words, it's warmer than its surroundings, of course, can uh, generate a little bit of electricity by this method that we've demonstrated. So this, the same materials that we use as the detector in night vision uh, and thermal imaging can also be used to generate electricity. We're sort of using the material in just a different way to generate power rather than using it as a detector. Well, of course, the amount of power generated is pretty small, around 100,000 times less than that supplied by a solar panel. So the big question is, how easy is it to scale this up? Yeah, that's, that's a really good question. So you know, what we demonstrated last year was this a world first, that this is actually possible. And whenever you do that, it's really a scramble just to show that this really works. Previously, we'd done some mathematics that showed that it should work, but you know, the proof of the pudding is when it really works. So as you say, we are right now 10,000 times lower than where we could be, according to the ideal theory. And we're at 100,000 times less than what you get from a solar panel. So it means that even if we get this technology to its absolute maximum, it's always going to be about a tenth of the power of a solar panel. But the nice thing is, of course, that it works at night when you know, solar panels aren't working. And it works continuously whenever you have a cold environment. So it can actually even work during the day. If you've got a warm roof still during the day, you can actually still generate power during the day. It's only where the sun is sitting in the sky that you've actually got this hot source of solar power. The rest of the sky is actually quite cold.